really wanted to get to this because it's been a minute since we checked in on our girl, Laura Loomer. Um, now, yeah. you probably know even more about her than I do, Matt B, because you are <laughs> an internetologist of the far right. <clears throat> but um, among the things she is known for are uh, getting kicked off of all the ride sharing platforms because she was complaining about uh, Muslim drivers. Specifically, she could not find a driver who wasn't Muslim. Um, and she got kicked off of Twitter and then subsequently chained herself to Twitter headquarters in order to protest uh, her deplatforming. But she didn't do a very good job. Everyone was just kind of walking around her and giving her funny looks. Now, Laura Loomer, has actually, uh, maybe she's having the last laugh because she has won a congressional primary in the District of Florida that covers Mar-a-Lago and received uh, props in a tweet from none other than President Trump himself. So uh, I'm thinking maybe she is doing this because she thinks it will help her get her Twitter account back. But uh, as of yet, that has not happened. And we know that she cares a lot about uh, her Twitter account and her social media presence because she, a while back when she got deplatformed, appeared on InfoWars and just really freaked the fuck out to the point where even Alex Jones was like, oh, oh, calm down, honey. So I think uh, <laughs> in order to, to, to celebrate really her, her win and her rise in American politics. Nothing, nothing bad about that. Totally healthy democracy. Um, I'd like to play a clip of her appearing on InfoWars and raging against the unfair treatment that she had received from the private company known as Twitter. Crazy, but what are they doing? I wanna know what people are actually going to do. My life is ruined. Does anybody understand how ruined my life is? I'm sick of it. I don't want to listen to people tell me that I'm a conspiracy theorist. They don't know what it's like to be me. My life is ruined, Alex. No, I understand. I just think you need to go with it. And, uh, you know, it just, I understand. I've been through this myself. <laughs> I, you know, because Alex, Alex Jones is actually... Uh, he's a despicable human being, a human being, terrible. You can say whatever you want about him, but he also knows how to play the game. He he knows yeah. that when he got deplatformed, he could easily use that to help buoy his uh, his subscribers, uh, get more money, uh, bolster his uh, email list, do whatever he needs to do to take advantage of the situation. Laura Loomer doesn't have that mindset. She she doesn't have the gorilla mindset. She that didn't Alex bet Jones at least. Has. Yeah. Right, well, she didn't then, right? You know, one thing, one thing that's interesting to me about Laura Loomer is just the, the longevity of her being in this. She really has pulled through. Like she is, you know, I was thinking about- She's raised a ton coming. of money. Hey, nevertheless, she persisted. Hey, I tweeted that, man. You ruined my <laughs> oh, thing. That's what I was going to say. did you? Oh, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to, because I, I, I was thinking Send about- Send you know, Matt Milo, 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 Gavin, Lauren Southern- uh, the Petty Bone Twins. I mean, I could think of the list goes yeah. on about all these right wingers who were were really big in the early days of the Trump campaign, all throughout the early days of his presidency, who sort of just dropped off the radar. Whether they 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 checked out themselves because they couldn't do it anymore, uh, they couldn't handle all the heat anymore, or they got deplatformed and just decided to disappear because they couldn't think of how to continue going. She, Laura Loomer, nevertheless, like you said, she persisted. She has stuck around, and you know, mm -hmm. she she's moved up on in the world from when she uh, literally handcuffed her hands to the the front door of Twitter headquarters. Do you guys yeah. remember her doing that? That was in New York, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, that was in New York. And yeah, Pat so. Krieger with the famous video, I remember. <laughs> yeah, or or, or when, when she got kicked out of the RNC for not having credentials. She didn't right, let that right. dissuade her. Right. She persisted. She stays I, persisting. I, I remember the first time she showed up on my radar and that, and, and again, it was someone who was completely dropped off the face of the planet. One of those like 4chan-esque shitposting YouTubers, uh, Brittany Venti, I think her name is, she's still a YouTuber, but she sort of, sort of doesn't care about talking politics anymore. Uh, 
she would go to the early like 2017 rallies, whether it was for, uh, you know, to, to, to protest the, uh, the Muslim ban of people coming into the, uh, of Muslim people coming to the country or protesting the deportations of undocumented people. She would show up and harass the people protesting. And one time, I think it was May Day, actually, 2017, she got arrested for getting too handsy with someone and she handed off her Periscope stream to her buddy, Laura Loomer. And that's the first time yeah. Laura Loomer got into the spotlight. Her friend was taken away and Laura Loomer took over her live stream. And wow. uh, she's Birth been- of a legend. Yeah, she's been uh, there ever since, <laughs> there, I guess, ever since, right? Wow, she's gonna be president someday. It's gonna be great. Here's Laura uh, chained to uh, the Twitter headquarters from two years ago. Is she playing that music? Yeah, on the bullhorn. She's also wearing a Star of David. Yes. Because, you know, yeah. Laura Loomer getting kicked off Twitter is just like the Holocaust. Right. Another fantastic Laura Loomer moment, not to, not to reminisce on all the good times, but do you remember when she showed up at that Shakespeare in the Park where they, uh, they, presented, uh, they presented Caesar as Trump? She went with uh, uh, Jack uh, Posebic, uh, uh, and friend of they the were show. they, and they were uh, they were uh, they interrupted the free live uh, the free Shakespeare in the park, screaming uh, screaming gerbils. Do you remember <laughs> gerbils? They were going gerbils, gerbils. Oh man, it was uh, good times, good times, good times, and there all part of the beautiful documentary that will someday be made about President Loomer. All right, folks. To uh, to really, uh, to, you know, she she's uh, she's not going to win. She's uh, her, <laughs> she, unlike Marjorie, who's a sure thing. Loomer's not going to win. Uh, I don't know if you guys uh, know who. Uh, I mean, she's running against someone who got like ten times the number of votes she did uh, in the primary. Mm 